Hey guys, welcome back to episode 24 of Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. So it's now the next day, I've been playing and getting some more singularities on the go. I've cleaned up some of this area as well. Uh, but yeah, let's continue with our singularity grind. I'll show you what I got so far actually. So these are all the ones we have. This is the last one in the row, steel. Uh, so it's just these two slots. So three, four, five, six, seven more to go. And there's four currently running. Or actually, there's this box as well. So 10 more singularities to make. But first, let's start off by making the creative gas tank. The last time I started making these uh, slurries, as well as the DT fuel, the hydrogen chloride, sulfuric acid. Anyways, I got all of those now here. So we should just be able to craft the trophy for it. If we put it in here. Oh, is it not a shapeless recipe? There we go. There's a creative gas tank frame. Is this the last piece of the puzzle? I think it is. If we search creative gas. Right, we have everything for index 1 and 2. What about index 0? I think it's just some more ultimate ingots, which should be doable. Another singularity actually finished it there as well. By the way, this craft here, I was doing some more maths for how much um, items we still need for this. And I'll just, I'll basically just go through the situation. So. We have the four creative essence. I was able to scrounge up enough um, insanium for that. So I have four of those crafted. The ultimate catalysts, I am eight short here. So I think the only thing I'm short on the ingots for is cyanite, which comes from the reactor. I've just processed some more uranium through there. I'm only like one stack short, so that should only take a couple of minutes to get. However, these 16,000 ME storage components, I have Put in the recipe and I am short on some Certus Quartz. Yeah, I'm short about 12,000 Nether Quartz, or that's what, 14,000 Nether Quartz? Because we have two already. We need two more. And the reason for that is the Certus Quartz that I was getting, I was getting in ore form and I was basically charging most of it up to like 100k and then I ended up using 140,000 of the Certus Quartz to make the Singularity and that left me with basically zero. And uh, this drawer for ore, wherever it is for Certus Quartz, yeah, this drawer here for Certus Quartz ore was not upgraded at all. And it, in fact, it still isn't because now it's been all processed. But this was stuck at 4,000 ore basically since the beginning of the game. So that I didn't do myself any favours by doing that. That was a mistake. So I'm kind of paying for it now, and uh, we have to wait on Certus Quartz. However, we I did make all the ultimate catalysts for this. We have the black hole units, we have the matrix. I made the four, eight draconium chests. I still have to make the chaotic cores. Um, actually, for the chaotic cores, they take four awakened cores each, I think. Let me just check here, make sure I'm, I've got the math right. Yeah, four awakened cores each. So I calculated out we need 40 awakened cores. And I have 19 here. And I think there's some more being crafted. Yeah, that's what this was. So I have 22 in total. So I need another 18. And there is something we're short on here. So for 18 awakened cores, we're short some yeah, cyanide, blue slime, and some sulfur actually. I don't know how we're short sulfur. If we just chuck all this in the system, it should all get exported into a centrifugal separator. And then that'll be that taken care of. As for sulfur, I thought I had sulfur on autocraft. Oh, I do. I'm growing it. I just don't, haven't put in the recipe for it. And that would help. There. And it's only three essence per. So this should solve our sulfur issue. And I should be able to now request 40 or 20. What was it? 18 more? Awaken course, and that will be that taken care of. So yeah, after that, pro after those things process, we should be fine for the uh, awakened course. We also need about eight chaotic cores, I think, something like that. So I've just printed off some chaos shards, and that is for these solar array controllers. These take these reactor stabilizers, which take a chaotic core, and then there's a draconic. Reactor core, which takes a chaos shard. Oh, I thought this takes a 
Oh right, that's what it is. It's it's chaotic tier. So we have to get the next tier of fusion injectors. Uh, these things, which do take a chaotic core each. So let's just make those right now. Actually, so I need what ten chaotic cores and ten dragon eggs. Actually, I still don't have chaotic cores automated. So let's just do that. So it's four of each, and a chaos shard, and then we can stick this in our fusion crafter. I actually really like this part of the game. Uh, just collecting all the materials and. Oh yeah, I have to filter this as well. Alright, I added it to the filter. Let's order four, no, ten chaotic cores, was it? Or short cyanite. How can we get more cyanite more quickly? This is basically what I've been doing all day is just like, okay, we're short this resource. How do I boost this? There's some things I'm paying for that I didn't think we would need. Like, for example, the plastic being one of them last time. I now have tons and tons of plastic because if I could spell. Uh, yeah, I have 16,000 plastic. We don't need any more than that. Alright, let's upgrade these crafting injectors. Although, does it let you craft with half of them a different tier? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should wait until I have enough chaotic cores for this. Let's see how long it'll take for five more. We're only short 192 cyanide. Let's just wait for it. I don't want to risk not having this available. In the meantime, let's swap out this lapis and redstone, like I mentioned. Alright, let's kind of consolidate here. Let's check to make sure that nothing else is going to catch us off guard with this creative vending. So we have all of this. Let's check our limit catalyst stock. Eight. So we need 16 for the vending. Four, eight, 16, yeah. We need 16 for vending. And do I have any set aside for the gas? No, I don't. I need another, I need another 12 because it's four for gas and eight for vending. So I wonder if we can make another 12 of these. More alchemical brass, more cyanite, more inferium. Man, it's just more of everything. That's basically what this is now. We have a lot of resources, just not the ones we need. <laughs> Looks like we have enough for the last piece of the creative gas tank. So let's just craft this and that will be a chunk out of the way so that we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, it looks like we managed to get enough for the three indexes for creative gas. And uh, I left some things out of this just because of NBT data, so I hope it all works. Let's just try it out here. So, ultimate crafting table. I'll click all this in here. I hope it lets me shift click. Please don't make me do this manually. Again. <laughs> oh no. Wait, that's the wrong item. And it's not going to let me, is it? No. Actually, on second thoughts, do we even want to do this because of it use it does use the creative tank, which won't allow us to use it until we get ve creative vending, but I don't think there's much else we are going to need from it. It's all in the right place now. Do we want to take this out? Because ta crafting this will not allow us to use this fluid tank, the second fluid tank. So maybe I'll just leave it in here just until we need it. And uh, I wonder if there's anything else I can add to this drawer wall as well before... I, I added the runes, the mana runes from Batania. This was one th mistake I made last time, was not adding these runes to drawers before I made the creative vending. Because going back and doing these quests for Batania, uh, I was like short some runes and it took like an hour to craft all these. So <laughs> at least with the setup I had last time. Here I don't think it'll be so bad, but... Yeah, I've added a couple of items here that we might need to craft some more of the creatives after we get vending. But I'm trying to decide. I think I'll probably just leave this gas tank in here until we need it. So while we're waiting on the cyanide and uh, a couple of other things, we should work on the other things we need for the infinity ingot. So we need these infinity catalysts, which take, namely this ultimate stew and cosmic meatballs. So I did get one of these cosmic meatballs from a quest reward. However, we do need two. It uh, gives us 9 per craft though, so we only need one more craft of this. And uh, I, I knew we would need this also, so when I was hunting for, for example, villagers and also the goats, I killed a bunch of animals and got some of these, although I suspect we're missing a few. So, also for this ultimate stew, I have a lot of this in the ME system, so I'm going to put it in package auto, and uh, let's see what we're missing. Okay, we can get one of the indexes from the meatballs. So that's index 2. Can we get index zero? No, we're missing prime mutton, prime chicken, prime bacon, prime chevron. And what about index zero? We're missing raw prime mutton, raw prime chicken, prime bacon, and prime chevron. 
Actually, let's check the ultimate stew first as well. Okay, we're missing a lot of things from this. I think I'm just going to have to go and hunt all this. I know that we can also use the market from, I think it's Pam's Harvest Craft. We can use, what is it, the market? We can use this guy to buy the seeds from. I guess he lives up there now. Anyways, yeah, we can buy these for an emerald. Alright, I've pinned everything here. Let's just go through it one by one. And I think probably what I'll do is set up a insulator. And then if we apply this to it, give it the flux fight will grow. Let's just go through this one by one. So raspberry, I think we can search. Oh yeah, this makes it really easy. So one raspberry seed, put it in there. And then we get raspberry. Alright, while I'm doing this, I kind of want to just go through some of the plans f that I have for um, the future. So... Obviously this series isn't going to last much longer, we're get, approaching the end of this pack. I can pretty much say that we, I have achieved the goal that I set out in the beginning of this, which is to finish this pack again and also finish the building. I didn't want to leave things that were half built. I could spend literally forever on this project. I do want to finish this up very soon. It's more or less at a point where I can leave it. There's still like out the front that needs to tidy up, but pretty much everything behind me is all done. So I suspect there's only going to be one, maybe two more episodes of this. We just have the creative tank, no sorry, the creative vending, and then the infinity armor, which is super easy once we have vending, and also a couple more like thumbcraft quests, and then that that's basically it for the pack. So. The next pack I'm planning on playing is Omni Factory. I think I've mentioned that before. But I'm really excited to start playing that. I, it's going to be a challenge. It's, it's really, really going to be a challenge because it's Greg Tech. I have played about 100 hours of interactions, which is another Greg Tech based pack, which also has magic in it. So it is slightly different. Although Greg Tech does change a pack a lot. It's not, it's not anything like this. But I'm not going to get into Greg Tech right now, but... It does definitely change the pack and it forces you to play a certain way. So yeah, that that is something, that is going to be my next goal is to finish Omni Factory. I don't think I'm going to go as big on the building in that. I'm just going to make it purely functional. And I think I'll go like a really clean style on that. One thing I wanted to, though was not to use um, marble in this build because Nearly everyone uses marble in their in their modded series, and I've wanted to avoid that. I've done it in the past as well in different packs, but I just as nice as the block is, <laughs> I don't know. Everyone uses it, so I just wanted to do something different with this base. And I think even in Omni Factory, where I'm going to go pure a pure clean style, like clean face blocks, I'm still not going to use um, marble just because or lab blocks like white. Because I just think it's too easy. It's like an easy route. <laughs> and I mean, of course, play however you want, but that's kind of a separate challenge I want to set. I don't want to just have things like super ugly, but I'm not going to go as, as hard on the building in the in my Omni Factory playthrough. It kind of seems like we're all over the place this episode, but I, we're, I mean, we're kind of waiting on things. I can't really speed things up much more here. It's basically just a waiting game, which is why we're kind of dotting about everywhere. I just started the chaotic cores as well, so we can get our injectors upgraded. There we go. Now we're flying. Now we have everything. I think there will be one package that we can't get. A oh, melon should be easy. It's just like this, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. So now we can unpack all this. Oh, and this has to be an ultimate crafting table. Which means we're gonna have to pick, pull this out, and I don't want to. I don't feel like rearranging this again. So, you know what? Let's just create, craft this creative gas tank. We'll put it in the drawer as well. All right, there's their, there's our ultimate stews. So now we need to get cosmic meatballs. So what are we missing for that? So now I need to basically just go out and hunt a bunch of animals for these ones that I'm missing. So I think I'll just do that now and then come back. Before we hunt the animals, though, it looks like our chaos shards are nearly finished. Three more, or cha chaotic cores, I mean. There's three more to craft, they're just crafting right now. I wonder why this is stuck. Is that just a visual bug? I think it is, because it's not actually there, is it? Yeah. So we can upgrade our injectors, finally. 
I brought everything with us. I also brought a spare chaos shard in order to get this reactor core that we need for this tier 6 arrays. Oh, actually we need two of these, don't we? Yeah, we do need two of these. Okay then. I did make a start on the crafts for these solar arrays as well, so I'd, I don't remember exactly how far I got. It looks like, yeah, I got the two tier 5s and we need the we need two tier 6s, which is just this recipe twice. Well, just, but I think more or less everything is okay. I might need some more resonant frames, I don't think I have those. But let's actually queue up four more high voltage, actually eight more high voltage solar arrays. Right, so that's queued. Let's let's now upgrade our fusion injectors. So we put the fusion injector in the middle, one chaotic core, one dragon egg, and four diamonds. Yeah. So I'll do this for all ten. That's now all of our crafting injectors at chaotic tier. And that completed the quest in the quest line. So now we have the quest to make the reactor core, which we need two of. So that's just one chaos shard, one, two, three, four awakened draconium and three draconium. I'll put the chaos shards in, two, three, four, one, two, three. There we go. That's two of those. All right, now I'm going to go out and hunt those animals that we need for our meatballs. I have an idea. Do you remember that hill from like two episodes ago where I was hunting for the goats? It's time for it's time for these animals to be, meet their demise. <laughs> Let's see how much prime meat we can get off these guys. Oh, what a shame. It, it's for the greater good. Don't worry. Oh, these sounds. <laughs> Obviously not all of them will spawn in this biome. But I'll take this and then go back and see what else I need to get. Yeah, that looks like most of them. The rest have their lucky day. The rest can survive. I also was just double checking the recipe as I've been doing like the last few days. And I realised that we actually need two crafts of this ultimate stew, so I did make another one. I kept the recipe in here, so I just made another one. We need 14 of these. Because it's remember, it's for these infinity catalysts, which are for the ultimate infinity ingot. And we need 14. Actually, no, we don't. We only need 11. But anyways, we get 9 per craft, so... I'm, I made two of those. That means we also need two crafts of this cosmic meatballs. So we need two of each item here. Let's see if we have... Or let's just see what we're missing now. So we have index 2 already. Can we now make index 1? No, we're missing prime steak, raw turkey, raw prime mutton, raw prime chicken, raw prime bacon, and raw prime chevron. So that's not too bad. I think we can use the Animania book even. And that will tell us wh which biome they spawn in. Actually, you know what? This isn't terribly terribly interesting. I'm just going to go and hunt these down and I'll come back when I have that. We're waiting on extra cr uh, crafting steps anyway, so... The base is loaded, so all this will still craft. Alright guys, we're back. So it's now been a couple of hours later. I've been farming up all the resources. I think this is going to be the end. Well, we're going to get the, the creative vending. We're waiting on... 800 pieces of lapis blocks and that is us so i have i think everything else i need i feel like i've been staring at this crafting status screen for the last like four hours <laughs> just waiting on everything crafting trying to optimize things i had a bunch of other things recorded of me just collecting resources and that but it wasn't really too interesting i Managed to get all the things for Cosmic Meatballs, so I have 18 of these and 18 of these. And I think I have everything else here crafted. I'm just waiting on the Lapis. And in fact, we can craft these right now, because I already have the Singularities for that. I'm just short the two of them. Uh, so, yeah, let's just start Let's just start crafting then. Uh, I'll put all these in the ME system, and then let's see how far we get. I don't think I've missed anything. I also crafted up the solar arrays, these tier 6s, I have two of these now. So this took, uh, well the high voltage, they took a long time. It does take some singularity, so I did make extra as well. I noticed this a bit late in the game, but it's really easy to make extra. It was only another 20,000 of each resource, which is easy at this point. Well, for these ones anyway. Uh, this reactor stabilizer takes chaotic cores. Which is why we had to upgrade. I upgraded those. Um, these really aren't too bad. That's just a wyvern core and another wyvern core. And it was this times two. And then two awakened cores. And yeah, everything else we've seen before. Athium solar cells, which is just like 
all the other ones combined. Yeah, these are really expensive, and I think they do give a lot of power if you want to use them, but I mean, we simply don't need them. Uh, at least not in this pack. I have the Draconium chest. I made uh, the extra storage components. I was running out of quartz, but I swapped out one of the recipes, and instead of using regular quartz, I swapped it to charged because I had an extra 65,000 odd just hanging around. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think this is us. We're just get, going to make the infinity ingots here, which take the catalysts. So I think we can make these now, as long as I put all these singularities in the in the AE system. So let's just start this then. So it's infinity catalyst, and we need how many of these? Thirteen. So let's just start with the first one. There's thirteen of those. That's index two, index zero, thirteen. Very nice. And next four, let's do this one. We'll do them in order. Sometimes it's easier. Oh, looks like I missed a recipe. Evil infused iron. Let's put that in there. Okay, let's try the index four again. We should. Yeah, it was just a block and get to block recipe that I missed. And next three, let's see if we can do this one. Yeah, that's just the singularities. And next five, yeah, we can do this. And index one. What? We're missing sand. Alright. Sand and slime balls. There we go, there's the next index. So that's index one. We'll wait on that crafting and then that is us. And that is all of the infinity catalysts now finished. Or all the packages for them anyway. So let's unpack these and... Can't describe how satisfying this is. Oh, I'm doing this in the wrong bench as well. Duh, that's like... The fourth time I've done that already. Alright, let's switch them over. Is that a shaped recipe? Looks like it. I'm missing music discs. Alright, there's five. Five catalysts. I'm still missing some music discs, but I do have a villager that I can trade. I believe he's in one of the mob imprisonment tools. Oh, you know what? I bet he's in the, the blood magic altar. Bays in here. Six emeralds for a disc? I'll take that. Alright, I think that's enough actually. So we can now just shift click these in? Yeah. Nice. There's our infinity catalysts. And then all that's left is the infinity ingot. Oh, that's 13 already. Nice. I have to also add a recipe for the infinity ingot, which is easy enough. And then. Only one index? Oh right, the ultimate singularities as well. Like that. Save. Oh no, am I really one short on each singularity? I think I might be. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I'm one short on each singularity here. Alright, let me fix that. Alright, fixed. I don't know how I miscalculated by one, but we now have everything we need. And I don't know how many times I've said that this time, but... I hope, <laughs> I hope it's real this time. Alright, I remade all the singularities. I don't know how I miscalculated by one, but yeah, here we are. That was a bit of a fail. Let's make this now. There we go, there's our ultimate singularities. We'll put these in our drawer wall. And then make the infinity ingot, I think. So, index zero is good to go. Oh wait, maybe there is only one index. Yeah, there is only one index. What am I saying? Oh, wow. The infinity ingot. Not even a quest for it either. Well, we can add this to the drawer wall as well. And then we'll melt it and make more. Hold on, where's my melter? It looks like I put it away. Get some power for this. Melt this down. Then we have molten infinity. And then we need the creative tank. And there we have it, Molten Infinity. Infinite Molten Infinity. So now we just need an ingot former and we can print two more. And then I think we will be able to get the creative vending. And there we are. There's our two infinity ingots. Let's now see if we can get the creative vending. Creative vending. So, index zero. Or we have everything for that. Index two. Similarly, we have everything. Index 1. Oh, this is exciting now. 
I don't think we're missing anything. I just need the the chest, the power cell, and then the creative tank as well. So we can take this, empty it. It's not even going to let us shift click, is it? Oh, the creative generator. Actually, where is my creative generator? Oh, it's in my system. Never mind. <sighs> there it is. Creative vending upgrade. And the quest as well. Oh, nice. So let's just dupe a bunch of these. Oh, man. This feels so good to get to the end of the pack now. After so long. I wonder what my playtime is. 10.32 days. But now we have infinite items. I guess they only stack to 16, but yeah, infinite of everything. 64 creative generators. And we can even put this on all these drawers as well and just have infinite of all these. I guess let's look at what's left to do then. This might be the end of the pack. Although I do want to get all the quests. There might be some stuff that we can't get via the vending. I'm not sure. Actually, I think I'm going to leave the episode here. It's getting quite late. I'm really happy with the progress we made today. And uh, come back tomorrow and finish this off. I'll probably do some more building and clean up tonight. And get it to a stage where I'm happy enough to leave it. Like I said, I could spend forever on this. But I think it's time to move on. We completed all the quests. Well, I can't say that yet. Nearly all the quests. We still have the a couple more bragging rights things to do. I'll clean that up tomorrow, and then Thomcraft as well. There's like a couple of quests in here, which we can't just cheese our way through with the vending. Uh, but yeah, that's for tomorrow. Anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, see you soon.